It is time for you to apply your new knowledge to messaging and music to the EarSketch platform. You need to open up the EarSketch site in your web browser and follow the directions below to get started. Now I'm going to show you all the steps and then we're going to go ahead and do it together. So we're going to get into EarSketch and you should remember how to log in. And then we're going to add this definition to our assignment document. So on your assignment document, we're going to go to the next slide, which is going to be part five, code your message on EarSketch. And you'll see there's a place for you to add the term to this definition. Then there's the instructions on how to get into your EarSketch account, and we'll be working through this. So the definition is lines of code that are not executed by the computer that are used by programmers to make notes on their code. They are preceded by a hashtag. Okay, so what is this definition? It is comments. We talked a little bit about them in lesson zero, and now we're going to apply them in our programming code. So examples of comments. You'll see at the beginning, remember the first section in any of our programs, our scripts, was the comment section. The comments we put at the beginning, they introduce the code, they, they give the name of the author, and a short description. We can also put comments in the middle of our where our music section is to identify song sections. So you can see that you can have a section for the intro, a section for the verse, the chorus, the outro. You can have a section for the sound bank variables. And if you add comments into your code to make these sections, it'll make your code easier to read and to like modify and debug. You can also have comments that explain different parts of things. So there's a comment that's explaining the print statement there. So what you're going to practice today is we're, you're going to add some code to your to a script, to a new script, that's going to have really just a whole bunch of comments. So you can play around with them and see what they do. So it's not really going to be making music today, but it's going to be about adding comments. Okay. Then you're going to run the code and see what happens. And we're going to end with an exit ticket. So this is going to be the last part of our lesson. Okay, to finish part five, we're going to get into EarSketch. So if you haven't done that already, you can click on the link in your assignment document, get into EarSketch, and go ahead and log in. If something is showing up, like for me, my day zero script still shows up, I'm just going to close it so that I have no scripts available. This is where we want to be. And you can resize things at that, that you might need to resize. Before we actually get into the code, let's learn a little bit more about comments. So I'm on slide seven, part five, if you'd like to follow along with me. It is time to apply your knowledge of messaging in music. Your, for the directions are, you're going to use comments in a script on EarSketch to jot down your first reflections from today's lessons. You will view a sample script below. The comments in the script are indicated by the pound or what we call the hashtag are in and are in gray. These lines are not executed when you run your script. You can use comments to make notes in your code. You can also use comments to explain the purpose or message of your code. And there's a link there if you want to learn more about adding comments. But think about comments as a way of providing hints to decoding. Now we're going to go to the next slide. This is our directions. We're going to first edit some highlighted lines of code that are in comments, then we're going to take this code from the slide and paste it into a new script. We're going to run it to see what happens, and then we're going to answer this last question, what did you notice?